So here we are at the 19th hole of Augusta. Let me tell you about this hole. Fairways are really tight, of course, because they've been treated with super juice. And uh, we have a bit of a pitch. We slope from left to right, but really beautiful looking fairways, very smooth. And of course, it goes down to Gnome Corner and uh, Gnome Corner for a very good reason, of course. So here he is. He's a 50 year old grass cutter out of Georgia, out of nowhere. This is a chance of a lifetime. All he has to do is get it within three feet three feet and he has won the Augusta National. Now this is a man out of nowhere, a simple grass cutter. That's why trying to be quiet here. here. Trying to be quiet. It goes. Oh, it's up, it's up, and the crowd is cheering. It's, oh my goodness, what a story. This is a Cinderella story. Out of nowhere, a grass cutter, how do you do it? So am I a total idiot? Yes, I am. <laughs> but if you can't have fun, why live? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, just thought I'd show you my second cut, which is uh, what I call my fairway cut, which is my normal height for spring Bermuda, which is pretty low, which is about, about an inch. I don't know if you can see the back here. Again, the backyard is always like two or three weeks behind the front. Now, I don't know why, but you can see how I have a cut pretty short let's go look at the front so uh, after I after I show you mine I'm gonna walk you over and show you the world's worst for me to because I just did a review on that edger and I went ahead and edged their lawn because I mean it had runners you think I'm kidding there's runners three feet long over there uh, but my lawn is only super juice that's it just so you know theirs has had the PGF twice early and just a little while ago, plus a little bit of 10, 10, 10, plus super juice. So let's just see what we got. And this is my Augusta cut, we'll call it. But you can see what that looks like. Now we just had a big rain yesterday. It's looking good. Now I'm leaving barbs a little bit longer for right now. You can see barbs. I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it down and cut it pretty short, but like I said, there's mine with the Augusta cut. It's beautiful. Just cut it. Look at this. Look at this sidewalk. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. And I do have a weed. <laughs> I have one weed, let me show it to you. Look at what I got here, isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Little piece of crab grass. He is so cute. <laughs> but you gotta see this. So here's the world's worst Bermuda lawn that was, what, a month ago, solid weeds and dead brown. Not a stitch of Bermuda, look at it now. There's not a single weed on it. And it's really filling in. This is all common Bermuda. So it's a little bit thicker blade. But man, look at that. Look at that. That's incredible. That's incredible there. Again, this lawn has had uh, two coats of the PGF plus some 10 10 10 thrown on it. And it's had super juice. So it's had all those treatments. Plus, to get rid of all the weeds, we put down the Curtain of Death, which I put, put in an earlier video. Now, I do want to show you what, what it would have looked like if I hadn't have done this. I stop at the front of the house. I'm a nice guy, but I got things to do. So, if I hadn't have treated it, here's what it would have looked like. Treated versus untreated. But man, I'll tell you what. The nice thing is, is I, I don't even know if I'm gonna put, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna even put PGF down. Cause at this point, all I'm gonna be doing is making my grass grow, grass grow, grass grow, and my grass is healthy. 
I don't necessarily need to make it grow. I mean, it's all healthy. I may just stick with super juice all year. So the only thing, there's a good possibility, the only thing I'll put on this lawn is super juice and a little bit of 10, 10, 10, and that's it. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. A few people had questions about how short I actually cut my grass. Once my grass starts to completely fill in, um, that's when I start to take it down a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter. But again, don't forget, my lawn's really healthy. Uh, this is the spring, and in the springtime, we can really keep that Bermuda short. Remember, Bermuda likes to be somewhere between three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, depending on your lawn type. Now, I've got a real crappy lawn. <laughs> in other words, when we bought this house, we had to accept, I had to accept the fact that I have all kinds of ruts throughout here and undulation, and it's, it's impossible for me to cut super, super low. In other words, I can't cut my grass half an inch, three quarters of an inch, just because of the way my lawn is. But we've been able to actually keep it pretty good and, uh, and, and cut it pretty low. So uh, real happy with it. Again, guys, all I'm doing for this lawn, because it's a healthy lawn, is just super juice. Uh, plus a little bit of 10 10 10 and uh, That's about it. want to make a short video show you my low cut and this is how I'll keep it probably for the next Six eight weeks. I'll keep it this low as long as I'm getting rain as long as it's not super hot out Then I'm fine with it. That's it guys short little video. Talk to you later Doc.